Hey, what's up, Pleasanton? I play guitar here in San Antonio. I smiles, Joshi smiles. And I used to grow up on Eileen Drive. Down in your town. Where my parents still reside. My dad used to take me in the shower. Piss on me. My brother would be in there too sometimes. But he would rub his dick all over my lips and into my crack. All the time. My dad would rape us because he had millions of dollars and lied to a town, dude. Pleasanton was a happy place if y'all remember before my parents got there. They made everybody feel like shit, especially their kids who grew up barely remembering any of this. Dude, they would lock us in the house and not let us leave and listen to them fight about the money my dad spent on prostitutes. We were scared to touch anybody. They would not even have sex talks with us. They would just molest us. I'm sorry, my dad would molest us. And my mom turned the other cheek. God rest her soul. And they pretended to be my best friend all these years. I've been trying to help them over their addictions. That I got stuck on some of my own. But I've come clean with the Lord and remember what went on. I've been sober for four months, dude. And they would let me drink and hide all those feelings away, dude. Where I'm still scared to even touch people, dude. All because this man had a fucking power trip. Dude, he would beat us, dude, in weird fucking ways. He would lie to my mom all the time. He would lie to us. He would tell us. He promised us all. Dude, he promised us all he would be there, dude. The man had enough money to make the town a way peaceful, very great place. But instead, he took that money and put it in a dirty place. He made us think that money was bad, dude, and money can do so much good for people because we're struggling without it, dude. The man still has close to a million dollars, dude, in stuff, dude. He has a 200-acre ranch. But right now, he is living on Eileen Drive, and he rapes kids, and it's okay because he had the money to do it. This man should not be living on that street. This man should not be eyeing your fucking kids. This man should be in jail because he fucking raped his family. Oh yes, his brothers and sisters know too. In fact, he is a racist and would not let us see our parent, my mom's family, because she said she was Mexican. He hates Mexicans. He hates black people. He even hates white people, too. Won't even talk about the others. Like, dude, and he stands by it. A man that would tell us that races should not be with each other. While this man is putting his fingers and penis all over my body because I'm a kid, dude, and don't know any better. I have all kinds of mental disease and struggle, dude, and it hurts. I banged my head against walls so many times. My dad used to call us and tell us he was committing suicide, dude, to where that is my life, dude. I tried to do it all the time and try to stay. I don't want to die, dude. I had this stuff the other night, too. And then I finally came to this recollection, dude. I got out lucky that night.
but I have all the stuff to do it, and she knows. She let me get a fucking gun instead of a piano after she knows how much music means to me. How much do I have to show them? All I wanted was some help to start a business like he would, I had to, a place where people can go and play music. But instead he says that he cannot do it. So God opened up my heart, dude, and let me see the truth awful to where I threw up all night at my friend's house. You know who he is? Dude, my head hurts. I bang the walls, dude, with my head, dude. I've given myself concussions from all of this trauma, dude. PTSD, it's from my dad. I have so many diseases in my head, dude, that I have to stop and think about answers with my finger, dude. I don't want to do drugs, dude, and I have to take prescriptions to fill a hole. I don't want any of them anymore. I used them as a crutch to know that I could get by. Dude, my mom watched me try to commit suicide. Like she wanted me out of this world, like I was the problem. I am not the one raping kids, dude. Dude, I felt so bad about myself and hated myself every year of my life because of this. Dude. And he's still there, dude. Holding it above our heads, but he won't do it anymore, dude. This is why we have a legal system. Y'all can see, dude. It's not fair, dude. It should never be done to anyone. He's committed lots and lots of dirty crimes right behind our eyes. Dude, we believed lies because we were young and we didn't want to give up on what we were told. But the man has crushed us all where I don't even see my brothers and sister. I can't even talk sometimes. But thank you, Lord, for showing me the truth. That my dad, Harry Garrison, is the reason this family is so screwed. 